It's funny how I had this dream of success, but, you know, once I reached it, I didn't really recognize myself anymore. As a Māori boy growing up in suburban Sydney, music really resonated with me from a young age, so I kind of took it and ran with it. And it was never to get like fans and views and money and none of that. It came from a really like pure energy of just loving music and I started uploading them and then I had a few friends go, hey man, like this could really be something. I wasn't really thinking about that at the time, but then I started to see the numbers start to creep off from like, you know, the first one would get 100K, next one would get a million, next one would get 5 million. So when they started to get like millions of views, it was a real surreal feeling for me. Then I started getting addicted to those views and addicted to the success and I put all these expectations on myself. That's where I started to lose myself. As time progressed, I understood why a lot of artists kind of go to war with labels about what my musical identity should be, knowing that I'm the one living 24 hours, seven days a week in my body, but being told that I'm supposed to sound another way or I'm supposed to do this this way. Yeah, I think there was like a, a massive shift in who I was and like massive period of loneliness. You know, the fall was so far from the top for me. The person I was at the time was not that kid from back in the day that was enjoying making music and loving just to do it as a hobby. And I still didn't really recognize who I was or understood my culture. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to sing a whole song in Te Reo. It was confronting at first, hearing myself sing these words. I was so proud to be able to connect with my culture. I think Fano really represents those who have contributed to building your identity. Although our lives might be taken in different directions, you will always be family to me, you will always be family to me. No matter what we're going through or no matter where we're at in the world, just stay connected to that. Otherwise, how could you ever hold on to your own identity? <laughs> I've learned that success isn't about how many people know your name. It's really about the impact you make on their lives. I'm finally back where I belong and nothing can take that away from me. I'm not a... I can't